welcome back to Nose TV. Today I am going to be reviewing Fame Book, written by David Williams. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button like this, and follow me and leave a comment down below if they're not disabled. And say if you like it and let's get started. So first of all, how I really like Fame is that it's really funny and, and I like the words they use, David Williams. And here in the book, and it says, Thing. If you didn't know, some of David Williams' covers of the books have, are like, they feel a bit 3D. Emboss. So emboss, it's like, yeah, I know you like it. And so I'm going to show you the inside. I really like it too um, because it's a biscuit and then I forgot which one is the first part because they're biscuits on the first. Okay, this one. This one is the first side of the book and the back side. Someone ate a bit. I really want to eat some too. It's custard cream and it has the word right here and right here. So actually these were both sides pretty with no bites but I think I accidentally bit a bit because I was hungry in the night so I bit a bit and mm, that's well that that's off so it tastes a bit slimy and stuff so yeah um let's now we read the prologue so here on the first side it says this is the story of a child who had everything but still wanted more, just one more thing. Prologue. Sometimes perfectly nice parents have children who are monsters. Meet the Meeks. This is father, Mr. Morris Meek. As his name suggests, Mr. Meek is a mild-mannered man. He likes to wear socks with his sandals and would not dare to eat a peach in public. Mr. Meek works as a librarian. He loves libraries as they are quiet like him. This is the man who wouldn't say boo to a goose or indeed any species of bird. This is mother, Mrs. Meredith Meek. She wears her glasses on a chain around her neck. The most embarrassing moment of her life was when she once sneezed on a bus and everybody turned around and looked. It will not surprise you when you learn that she is also a librarian. Meredith met Morris at the library. They were both so painfully shy that they never spoke a word to each other for their first 10 years of working there. Eventually, across the poetry aisles, Morris and Meredith fell in love. Some years later, they were married. And some years after, they had a baby girl. Baby girls are not bleeping because you know, it's Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle Meek. This is their daughter, Myrtle. You might be thinking that nothing could be sweeter than a little baby girl. Wrong. From the moment she was born, Myrtle was an absolute horror. Whatever she was given, dummies, cuddly toys, rubber duckies, the baby demanded more. Myrtle's first ever word was more. And she uttered it on the very day she was born. It was more milk baby Myrtle was demanding even though she had already guzzled a gallon. More was the word the infant would say over and over and over again. More, more, more! Being meek 
by name and meek by nature, Morris and the reader didn't dare to stand up to their monster of a child. Whatever baby Myrtle wanted, baby Myrtle got. Her parents bought their baby daughter toys and toys and more toys, even though she would instantly smash them to pieces. Bish, bash, bosh. More, more, more! As a toddler, they gave their daughter crayons and crayons and cr more crayons. Myrtle would use them to scroll all over the wall. Scratch before snapping them in two. Snap! More, more, more! As she grew bigger and bigger and bigger, still, Mr. and Mrs. Meek would feed Myrtle chocolate biscuit after chocolate biscuit after chocolate biscuit. More and more and more, even though Myrtle would take great delight and sp in spitting the crumbs back in their faces. Split. More, more, more. Part one, more, more and more. So, okay guys, so now we've entered chapter one, but sorry guys, I can't read it. This is only a review of talking about it and e um, eating the prologue, I mean, reading the prologue. I thought it was eating because there's chocolate biscuits and there's custard cream, so I said eating. Uh, but no, it's reading and so I will read this to you next time and I hope you subscribed. I can't wait to read this to you next time. My favourite bit about this book was when Myrtle keeps on saying more, more and more because for me, I think it's funny because it's funny, it's extraordinary because none of these kids are here to say more, more and more so it's really funny because um, I haven't heard a child like that say more, more and more so it's funny. And yes, annoying for parents but Annoyed. It's not annoying for me because my mummy's not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and the other funny part is that when they're allergic or something, so the, the, the mum, I really find it funny because she wants me in a bus and then she thinks that's her most embarrassing thing ever. And say you boo to a goose or uh, any species type of a bird. Yeah, that's also funny. Okay, so the story is actually all about a thing. So Myrtle kept on demanding more and more and more. And then she said she wanted a thing. Most of you are asking, what is a thing, Olivia? And how do you even know what a thing is? Is it a thing? A finger? A what? So, <laughs> uh, a thing is actually a ball. Yeah, a ball. A furry ball. And with one eye, it rolls along because it's an animal. Yeah, it's an animal. It's a. Yeah, it hibernates. It's a hibernator. Um, it can either bounce or it can roll. So it only has one eye. And then there's a hole on here. Yeah? That's its bottom. And then there's a hole on here. That's its mouth. And then human, uh, yes, um, they don't really know what the hole, which hole is which. The thing doesn't either. So would you recommend of the thing was trying to feed itself from the bottom and then the thing is trying to um, have the toilet on its mouth. <laughs> and I can show you a picture of the thing. See, and you can already see one hole. So here's mum, dad, Myrtle, Myrtle. And Myrtle, you already know what it's like. She demands more, more and more. And she's also like, more, 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 mama, 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 more, more. And she, ha she, she gets more. When she says more, she gets more. She always gets chocolate. She always gets toys. And yes, she even got an electric 
bush, she actually, she already has stuff of the alphabet, but the only thing she doesn't have was books. And that's not good. And they, and when Myrtle wanted a thing, they bought a thing. Well, they didn't. Well, they looked, they went to the library when Myrtle went to school and they found a Monsterpedia. And it was on the seventh page of the Monsterpedia. The thing is on the seventh page, so yeah, and it says warning. Warning, warning, my dear, warning. <laughs> and so, of their mum and dad, yeah, I mean, it's that. Really funny too. Okay, about the author, David Williams, and on the other books, well, we don't have to include that now. Get away, get away, get away. David Williams is funny, and if you didn't know about him, he's now a judge in Britain's Got Talent. And his words in the book, I how he wrote it, they're also funny, uh, funny and then, yep, we can close that now for a bit. Um, let's put the student set. Now I'm free. So, and he's really funny, yes, yes, and yes. And he writes really good books, actually, and really funny books. He's like, got all the books in the other languages, like Spanish, German, yeah, stuff like that. Well, I recommend the book good. No, not good. Um, I think I recommend the book. Amazing! Fantastic! Uh, good! Um, extraordinary! And funny! So guys, about how I feel about the book, I feel extraordinary because there's like, David Bunny puts in the books like they're like words in the books like they're all funny. At the end of the book, that's going to be a surprise for you. Because I've read all of these books already, um, not all of them, what I mean, all of these pages already, but that's going to be a surprise for you if you have a book. It's a surprise for you to find out what, at the end. So at the moment, I'm actually trying to work out for some time or something to read this book for you, all of these chapters. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. I'm just doing all of this for YouTube, all of this, because we're struggling for a time right now to find other like challenges and stuff, even though I promised you about going to the wild part part two, doing another draw drawing challenge, we're still finding time for that, yeah, you can, you can be patient and wait for that and stuff, yeah, I'm doing my job as well to have be outside and play with my friends and stuff because it's, it's always holiday at my school and then we're going to be in the third class. If you didn't know, I'm in the second class. And then I'm going to be in the third class! <laughs> but I'm most proud of you if you didn't know the teacher's name. And so guys, that's it for my video. See you all next time. Goodbye. See you all next time. Goodbye. I mean, wait, promise, promise you will subscribe, leave a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, because then I'll, you're going, I'm going to be cross, I'm going to be cross, I'm going to be mega cross, so follow me, subscribe me, like me, <laughs> thumbs up me, and ring the bell, ring the bell, yeah, ring the bell, I forgot to say that. Anyways, goodbye, goodbye y'all, ciao.